science question population, Thor's hammer, or Chris Hemsworth's sexy abs. Okay, I admit, this video isn't about Thor's abs, but I do want to talk about the real-world science behind Mjolnir, otherwise known as Thor's hammer. Earlier this year, astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson decided to try to calculate the weight of Thor's hammer, having heard that Mjolnir was forged of the heart of a dying star. So Tyson said, hey, I know how much that weighs. He got a replica Mjolnir prop, measured it, and calculated the density of the hammer as if it were made from neutron star material. But I'm not going to tell you what he found out quite yet. Neutron star matter is some of the most dense material in the known universe. In relation to other stars, they're very, very small, but very heavy. Neutrons are packed together really, 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 really tightly. They're so tight that they possibly can't be packed in any closer. When we think of solid objects like a desk or a chair, we assume that they're, well, solid. But at the subatomic level, there's a lot of space there. In a neutron star, there's no space in between the individual neutrons. The overall density of neutron star is anywhere from 3.7 times 10 to the 17th to 5.9 times 10 to the 17th kilograms per meter cubed, whereas the density of an atomic nucleus is about 3 times 10 to the 17th kilograms per meter cubed, which means that a neutron star is more dense than the nucleus of your everyday atom. You'd get the approximate density of a neutron star if you took a Boeing 747 and crushed it into the size of a grain of sand. So, according to Neil deGrasse Tyson, who tweeted this and then later explained it on the October 13th episode of his podcast, Star Talk, if Thor's hammer was really made with neutron star matter, Mjolnir would weigh about as much as 300 billion elephants, which Slate.com calculated to be about 4.5 quadrillion pounds. Unfortunately, he misheard a critical moment in the movie. So long entrusted with the mighty hammer Mjolnir, forged in the heart of a dying star. According to legend, and to Marvel, as seen in this old Marvel trading card, Mjolnir is made out of a mystical metal called Uru and actually weighs only 42.3 pounds. Using the dimensions and weight listed on the trading card, materials science professor Suveen Mathaudu estimates that Mjolnir's density is about 2.13 grams per cubic centimeter, making it even lighter than aluminum. Mathaudu says, Perhaps Uru is the holy grail of high-pressure physics, a form of metallic hydrogen. Some predictions of the density of metallic hydrogen fall into this range. It requires extreme conditions to form and could be a tremendous energy source. It's thought to be present at the core of planets, such as Jupiter, and at the core of suns, which are stars, after all. So when you think about it, Mjolnir isn't made from the guts of a neutron star, but it is made in the neutron star because metallic hydrogen needs extreme pressure and energy to form. And when it comes to pressure and energy, neutron stars have it covered.